Hey, what is going on guys? Joy here from JPRC and welcome back for another unboxing video. And on the bench today, we have the Axio SCX-102. This is the latest CRC edition with the JK body here. Now, as you know, the Axio is definitely one of my favorite RC brand and the 10.2 is definitely one of my favorite platform. Initially, when Axio announced this truck, I was like, not another Jeep body on the 10.2 Axio. Come on, give us something different. But then it was not until I actually checked out this truck in the detail, uh, the amount of accessory that comes with it, it really makes it a really good package. For example, it comes with the front LED bucket with the LED already installed for both the front and the rear. It even comes with a detailed radiator that you can paint up to make it look more scale. And not to mention that it comes with the molded wipers, the door handles, all those nice little touches. It all ultimately add up to what I think is a, a very good RTR package. In fact, I think this is one of the best looking RTR body that Axio has released yet. Now, there's a lot of things I like about this truck in addition to the body, but there's also a lot of things that I don't like. And for the areas that I don't like about this truck, I'm gonna be making a series of video on how I'm gonna be upgrading it to make it better looking and more capable in the trail. And as a matter of fact, I had it unboxed over a month ago already. So there's a lot of detail that I have already touched up on the body here. And it didn't come out of the box looking like this. For example, the windshield wipers, the door handle, they did came with the truck, but they were not installed by the factory. So you do have to cut open the uh, spare parts back and get the door handles and the wipers installed in the front and in the back. And overall, I think the red looks really good on the body. However, it didn't come with any backing color in there. So uh, what I'm gonna be doing to this truck in the future is definitely gonna be backing that paint by masking the windows and then give it a silver and a black coat from the inside. It will really, really pop the red out. Now, as you can see in the back here, it's already got a spare tire uh, and these door panel line detailed up already, which I'm gonna show you guys how to do that for very little money uh, in the next video. And of course, once you take the body off, the first most obvious upgrade you see is the gearbox. It is different than the kit version. It is different than the uh, XJ version of the 10.2. Uh, what I like about this gearbox is all metal gears inside but one little secret that it was not known by a lot of people is this gearbox actually has a better weight bias compared to the kit version. Uh, when I had this on the scale, the weight up front is 53% as you can see and the rear is 47%. And when I compare this to the old kit version, which sits at 49 up front and 51 in the rear without the battery. So out of the box, this is already a more capable crawler. The reason being this gearbox actually sits the motor in the right direction a lot more forward than the kit version, which is a really welcome upgrade for that. And also going back to the simple three geared gearbox, it removes the slack from the drive line so you'll be able to hold on the position on the rock better. And right next to the gearbox right there is the new AE5 ESC. It comes with these two pigtails for connecting the LED lights in the front and in the back. However, it is very annoying that you have to unplug a cable, actually two cables every time you take off the body. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do for a video in the next episode is to make a wireless system for very little money. So definitely stay tuned for that. 
And then moving down to the axles, I'm really happy they actually kept the original AR44 axles here because I, I looked at the axles on the axle honcho, which is targeted for a more beginner RC group of users. In my opinion, those one piece molded axles, were, it's really a, a really a kick in the balls from axle. Yes, I get it. They're trying to drop the price on it, but having a single piece molded axle just means that there is more parts that you have to be placed when you break a lockout on it or front knuckles you're gonna have to end up replacing the whole axle so i'm really happy to kept this axle here and then another nice thing they kept on this truck is the front universal drive shaft which will then unlock the full 45 degrees of steering and attached to these axles are these four millimeter stainless steel links all around upper and lower they don't look the best but they are functional so you don't have to replace them right away and moving right over to the tire, these are the Nittle License Trail Grabbers. I really like the tread pattern on them. However, the uh, material, the compound on these tires are a little bit more stiff in my opinion. They're not as pliable as the Poline GA compound or even the Axial R35 compound. I think at this time, the R35 version of the same tire are available right now. Normally, I'm more of a Poline tires guy, but for the look of these tires, I think I'm gonna pick up one of the R35 compound tire set. And moving over right next to the rock sliders right there, I really like the look too because they match up with the fender on the rear and in the front and they try to have this idea of this crease right here so that you can kind of tuck in your legs and body giving a little bit more support. I think it's a great idea but the execution is not the best because when I try to get the body on and off, I find that it's catching inside or outside of the rail more than anything. So I think I'm gonna have to come up with a better uh, improvement on that. So overall, I think this is a really great package from Axial if you don't mind the Jeep body. I mean, trust me, once you start looking into the fine details that Axial has put into this truck, you will start appreciating it and like it just like I do. And in addition, I think this is a better beginner's crawler because for that $80 difference, uh, more than the Hancho, you're getting a full complete upgrade in the drivetrain with the uh, right axles and the details on the body. Unless you're really going for the truggy look, I think this is a better RTR truck for beginners. So with that, I want you guys to stay tuned on the upcoming video upgrade series on this truck. If you guys have any questions about the upgrade series for this truck, let me know in the comments. And if you guys have any tips you can share with me, also let me know in the comments below as well. And with that, I will see you guys in the next JPRC video. Later.